Thank you for joining in and for today's video, we have something different to try out today. This is um, a beginner's tutorial for some oil pastels. And I just have some regular watercolor paper, that's the heaviest paper I had, taped down and I'm showing the colors that I use there and just the particular set that I'm using. It'll be in the description down below. And I just have some quick little lines there for a sketch for some loose clouds. And I am just playing with some different colors and placement here. So I have, let's see, specific names from my set. I have the aqua blue, a rose pink pale, um, a white, an ultramarine, a lavender, which is like a light purple, and then this is um, it's a little bit duller than a cerulean, but it says compose blue. And you can see here, I'm just um, blending through some colors and I'm gonna go through a few different techniques I did use a tissue, um, not, not exactly a tissue, it was a heavier napkin, but I, I really wouldn't recommend that. I think it takes too much product up from the paper. And then you can also use your finger, which I will show. Um, that's okay, I mean, if you don't mind getting like the stuff all over your fingers, you can blend a little bit. I think, you know, in a pinch here and there, it's not bad. I certainly wouldn't want to be doing like my whole large piece like that, but I found that like a fluffy Q-tip worked the best for me, or my set actually came with like a clear, a clear blender that I did use, and that worked out pretty good. So depending on what set you have, there's a few different options to choose from, just personal preferences. And here I'm going in with that ultramarine just for some deep contrast. For the top section here, I did go ahead and you'll see in a little bit after I blend this out with the Q-tip, I added a second layer of some of my colors because you can still see the little white bits here and there. And again, a lot of that is gonna come with practice. This is something that's not super quick. You definitely need some patience with these oil pastels and then like I said, you have to go through and blend everything. Um, I would take it easy on how hard you're pushing because if you're really digging in the paper, you're going to have those little pieces all over the place, which is like one thing that's I'm not crazy about with oil pastels. But if you're a little bit more on the gentle side and just take your time, these particular oil pastels that I have, they're really not that bad as far as those little tiny pieces getting all over the place. And for the actual cloud itself, I'm, I found a gray in my set and I'm just gonna go in and draw some lines for some of like the creases. And then I'm gonna blend that out with like a white and a lighter gray.
And as I was moving on here, I used some of the colors from the top. I incorporated them down on the bottom and I'm using the white there just to blend in. Like I said, where I still had some like white pieces showing through and especially with the clouds here, I just realized that the white really helped to blend the colors together. And also you can see me there I was going back and forth between the the white and my blender. It's probably hard to tell the difference on camera, but it's easy to just get a tissue and wipe off the color. It comes off really nice and easy. And down towards the bottom again, I'm just mixing my colors with a little bit of the gray. Um, a tiny bit of the pink and the lighter blue and then I'm just going to blend them together with my white and my blender. And that is it for today's quick tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.